welcome to Like Mother, Like Daughter. This is the second part of my empties. I'm trying to try to not go so long before I do an empties video. I divided the trash. There's a lot. So I separated it to hair products and everything else. Okay, I feel really naked without my makeup. Boy, did y'all see what I look like in the morning before I get my makeup on? Not a pretty sight, I'm telling you. Bless my husband. He lo I love my husband so much. I have the absolute best husband. We've been married for 27 years. And he is so sweet to me. He tells me his, he likes the way I look in the morning. And my favorite time of the day with my husband is in the morning because whenever he leaves for work, he always comes in and gives me a hug and a kiss and tells me how much he loves me. And when he comes home from work, he always comes in and gives me a hug and a kiss and says, I love you. So um, I, I got a charm on, I'm telling you. Okay, so this is the Equitance Brightening Collection. And this was in a test tube one month, and it came in this box, and this was supposed to be, I think, a one-week supply. Three-day supply? I don't know. Really nice to see a complete system. It had three foil packs of several different pills in here. They were supposed to help, uh, from the inside, complements the brightening topical solution to support skin's inner and outer vitality, inspiring truly radiant beauty. I am not sure. Three days... I don't, I don't know that that was enough to do that. But they had a brightening foaming cleanser, which lasted quite a while, a brightening toning lotion, a brightening serum spot corrector, which I liked but didn't last as long as the others, and then they had a hydrating brightening cream. I think overall the system was okay. I did not notice at all any brightening to my, to my face. I did not notice any spot correcting. I have a lot of pig, uh, is it hyperpigmentation? I have a lot of different spots on my face. Some are sunspots. I think if a, if a person were to try this system out for a whole month, maybe they might see something. But, and I think it's great that a company sends these out, that they give you like a three day trial or a week to try something in. But unless their product is gonna make a significant change to your skin in that week, I think it's a waste of marketing. I mean, it, it, it was, it, it did fine cleansing, it did fine moisturizing, the toner did fine. I just didn't notice the, the, uh, the brightening effect uh, that, they, that they touted in the time that I used this. Would I purchase the entire line? Based off of this, no. And again, it's because I don't, like I said, I think that this glowing skin and this brightening of your skin, I think it takes time to achieve that with a product and with an entire product line. I think it takes time and I just don't think this was enough time to achieve that. So, and unfortunately I'm not willing to spend the money to give it a second chance because the system to buy all of it is quite expensive. Okay, moving on. Linen spray. Uh, you know, all know how I love room sprays, pillow sprays, linen sprays. This was an heirloom linen spray that was lavender. Lavender mist, there's the front of it. This lasted a long time and it really was nice. It was really nice. I love the, the smell of lavender. Cotton rounds, the little cotton rounds, and this is a, just a stack from Walgreens that I got, the exfoliating kind. I use both sides. I've had this for six months probably, and it is the Philosophy Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash. And I use it in the shower. It says it's a 30 second cleansing mini peel that can be conducted in the shower, in the bath, or at your bathroom sink. Well, I kept it in my shower, which is why it looks so gunky. And I used it on my face and my neck and my decollete. I liked it. I went through another deodorant, Donna Care and Cashmere Mist. Not that anybody cares what kind of deodorant I wear, but it's in there. The Dr. Jart Water Replenishment Cotton Sheet Mask. I really like that. This had so much uh, product in it uh, that when, when the, the mask started to dry out, I would pour some of this out and then put it back on the mask. Uh, so I think I wore this mask probably for 30 minutes. It says 15 to 20, but it was funny walking around the house with that. It kept falling off my chin and I kept putting it back on, but I like masking and I, and I, I like those fiber masks. This was the Earth Therapeutics Recover Cucumber iPad Soothe and Replenish and they're little cloth round iPads and they look like cucumbers. I mean, they, they look like somebody took a picture 
of a slice of a cucumber and place it on top of it. it it really did look just like a cucumber it was funny and it's nice you can tell uh, I haven't done any depuffing this morning but I have puffy eyes I when I don't sleep well and I don't sleep well most of the time I get migraines and headaches and a little bit of insomnia it takes me a long time to fall asleep anyway that's another topic altogether. So this had cucumber, vitamin E, aloe vera, green tea, and chamomile. It was the Recover E Cucumber Eye Pad Soothe and Replenish. If you followed us on Instagram at all, Claire posted a pic in there and I was laying down and I had these on my eye. I went through a St. Ives Continuous Spray Fresh Hydration Lotion that was citrus and vitamin C. It had a grapefruit smell to it. Loved it really did love as soon as I got out of the shower I sprayed this all over <clears throat> getting a headache again uh, went through the Caudalie lotion tonic oh that's moisturizing good morning everyone I went through the Caudalie moisturizing toner <clears throat> I am now doing a uh, Murad's hydrating toner I liked it. I've been looking for these hydrating toners and this was the first one I've tried and now I'm trying the Murad and I liked it. I think I would repurchase it but I but I don't think it's my holy grail yet. We'll see. Makeup wipes. This was the tea tree oil and vitamin E extract makeup cleansers. I got these from Ross. I didn't like them at all. Not at all. I bought two packs of them. They're very thin and they're very small. And you have to use more than one. This was the Lamine Finland Sensitive Touch Gentle Cleansing Wipes that I had in my travel bag. They're not very wet. And so I felt like I had to use more than one because of that. And I got these on sale for $1.88. And that, so, I mean, it says right there they'd probably been sitting there for a while. And that would explain why, they're, they, why they were dry. Here's another mask that I had. This uh, Sephora, my favorite. Uh, I love the Sephora masks. They're my favorite. The fiber masks of the fiber masks, the paper masks, Sephora's masks are my favorite. But this has to be my favorite all-time mask ever. This is an eye mask. It comes like this. It's like a silicone thing. You peel it off, and it's very cool. And so this is an instant depuffer. So then you would put it on your face, and you would press it in to all of your little areas and right down here especially and um, you can use this more than once I did use it more than once when I was traveling I if I had a refrigerator in my room I kept it in my refrigerator and put it on in the mornings and it it really does it's very cooling it's very soothing and it does depuff and it gives you you know it says I don't think I always did it for I think it may be five minutes I don't know what it says 10 to 15 minutes I didn't always do 10 to 15 minutes because when I'm traveling, and, and that's why I take this when I travel because my, my face tends to puff up when I travel by air. So I use this the next day after I fly. And uh, I just I just liked those few minutes in the morning, just relaxing and depuffing my eyes. Works, check it out. And it's only $6. You can use it like three times. If, if, you, if you use it when you got makeup on or anything, it's gonna get gunky and dirty. So you're not going to want to use it after that. I mean, let me be clear when I say you can use it more than once. If, you're, if your face is clean and you have no makeup on, you can use it more than once. Uh, otherwise, you're, you're just putting dirt and oils. You, you, you know what I mean. Okay, Miracle Lancome Paris. My family gives me Miracle twice a year on my birthday and at Christmas. And at Christmas time, they usually try to find the ones that come with the little uh, gift sets. And it's Miracle Lancome. Miracle is my Holy Grail perfume. And this was their lotion. And I also love the Amber Blush from Bath and Body Works. That's my favorite, favorite lotion. Their triple moisture cream. And they are discontinued it. So I bought a bunch of tubes. So you'll still see these in there. The Up and Up from Target Eye Makeup Remover. Works great. Loved it. The Eclose Plant Stem Cells Anti-Aging Super Concentrate Night Booster Fluid. This was like a serum. I enjoyed it. I'm not sure that I would repurchase it. it uh, not right now, maybe. The Reverse Mist and the re Reverse Neck Reverse Lift from Serious Skincare. 
and I just I threw them away because they're old. More lotion. I'm in big lotion. This is Suave's Advanced Therapy Thought Body Lotion for dry skin. They have good lotion. This you will notice this was a fail. Big fail. Sephora, I'm disappointed. This was the Sephora Super 2-in-1 Eye Makeup Remover Gel. It says in here, waterproof eye makeup remover gel. I wear waterproof mascara so that it doesn't transfer. And I gave it a good try, you can see, but it didn't work. I mean, it didn't, it didn't even work to take off my eye makeup. I mean, I mean, it didn't. I don't know what else to say. This the product did not work. I think maybe it was missing the active ingredient. Very effective in one gesture. It's ultra fresh and smooth texture removes all kinds of makeup, even waterproof makeup, without leaving an oily film. It did not leave an oily film, but that's the only thing in this statement that I can agree with. It did not in one swipe remove one single thing from my eyes. Darn it. I had high hopes. The Alginus Regenerative Anti-Aging Moisturizer with Algoronic Acid. I love Alginus products. This was in a test tube. I love Alginus products. I would repurchase that. Maracuja Oil from Tarte. Oh, nasty. Got a hair in there. Mm. Yes, definitely would repurchase it. I got some other oils right now, but I would definitely repurchase that one. Oops, got a little, little thing going on in my nasty hair. The Garnier 5 Second Blur Instant Smoother. Okay, there's still some product in here. I just couldn't do it anymore. I didn't care for this product. I know a lot of people do. It, it's pink when it comes out, and it reminds me of the Lancome Blur, 5 Second Blur. It's silicone-y, and it just made my makeup move all over, I felt. I, it, so I don't think that's the kind, the silicone texture is... See, I feel, I can... I'm trying to tell you to feel it, but it, it, see that oily, it's got like an oily consistency to it and it doesn't ever set. And so my makeup just kind of went all over. I had the Serious Skin Care Vitamin C Eye OptiVibe Tri-Roller and it had, I don't know if it still works, but it had the little balls. I don't know if you can hear that. It's vibrating. So you squeeze out, you're supposed to squeeze out the serum and then it help it vibrate it into your skin. Cool idea, but wrong delivery method. This little tube doesn't, it didn't squeeze very good. Then I had the Dr. Denise New York Hydroshield Ultra Moisturizing Face Serum with Ceramide Soy Retinol Linoleic Acid. I like this. This was a serum and it was thick. Oh, look, there's a little left, so I'll drop it out. See how thick that is? I don't know if you could see that, but I mean, it's it's thick. It is a very thick serum, and I liked it a lot. I think that it was good at giving you a, a, a hydrating shield there. Little stick on nails. I like these things. You don't have to peel anything off. You just take these out. And they already have the little sticky thing on them. And you, this is just way too big for my thing. But you just stick it on, press, and hold it for a few minutes. And and pretty nails. And then they just come right off. If you, if you need them to, they come right off. They don't really last through a shower. So you put them on, and then you shower. They're going to come right off. Jergens Ultra Healing Extra Dye Skin Moisturizer that I had in my purse. Works great. Stila All... Stay all day, 10 in 1, HD bronzing beauty balm with SPF 50. I didn't care for this. This wasn't a Sephora favorites thing. I did use it all, but I, I didn't care for it because it it streaked and it was it was almost like this was old and had been there for in their store for a while because it just, it didn't go on smooth. It, it went on and dried really quickly. Went through the Mint Julep Lush Lip Scrub. Like lip scrubs. The Self Tantalizer. Lorac Tantalizer. I used this on my legs. I think it did a really good job. It had a little um, little plastic, one little like clear plastic glove that it came with. This dries quickly on you. It's very liquidy. You can see. 
I'm not sure that I would repurchase it though. The Peter Thomas Roth Firm Peeling Gel Exfoliant that rolled stuff away. This was a nice mask, a nice peeling mask. And I have another one of these, so uh, I don't have to repurchase it. The Philosophy Hope in a Jar Night Cream. Oh, this was a really, really, really great night cream. I've got a bunch of night creams I've gone through. I love the thickness and the texture of this for a night cream. This was Philosophy Hope in a Jar Night Cream. Yes. The Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I love that. It's not waterproof, but I still like it. I love that. I also went through the Trish McAvoy High Volume Mascara in Jet Black. Comes in this nice metal tube. Thin, and I'm going to show you the wand because you're going to go, huh? Look at that wand. That is one teeny wand. I mean, compared to the Tarte. See? Here's the Tarte. Here's the Trish McAvoy. Now, this was the Tube Mascara. What I mean is that is it coated your lashes, and then when you were in the shower, you just kind of got under the water and then would, you know, wiggle and pull and they would come off. Now, I didn't know that the first time I used this and freaked out in the shower because I thought, oh my gosh, my lashes are falling out. They weren't falling out. It was just the tube that had come over this. Now, although it's nice for moisturizing and I like how small this is, I like using it for my bottom lashes. I did not like using it for my top lashes because I felt it, cl it clumped them together. It was such a wet formula that it, it, it kind of like clumped them together and I only had like five lashes. So it was great for my bottom lashes. Just if you use their volumizing tube mascara, make sure you know when you, when you go to rub them off, they come off in sheets and you <laughs> I use the Signature A Rapid C Transport Infused Crinkle Smooth Daytime Eye Serum. I love any kind of eye serum that has a method of distributing in a cool ball because I think it helps with the, um, the puffing of your eye. And I went through a lip balm soft lips. This was the raspberry lip balm. I went through the Clarins Paris Super Restorative Total Eye Concentrate. It was a nice concentrate for the eye, but uh, not my holy grail, so not wouldn't repurchase. So that, I'm sorry again, I will try not to wait so long to go through our empties, dang. Uh, two, another two sets of empties, but uh, at least it's empty now, so we can start all over again. Thanks for watching. We have a giveaway. I don't know if I'm going to get this one up before April 1st, but if this, if you're watching this before April 1st, please make sure to check out our giveaway that we've got going on. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and thanks for watching. Bye.